Hey everybody, it's Jimmy with The Crafting Guys and I'm going to show you how to do a simple holiday painting of a snowman to hang in your house for the season. So what we've got here is a foam board that is black and it's a great background for us to utilize. I've got us some white paint, blue paint, orange paint, and red paint. Also I've got my brushes here. I'm just going to use two brushes and a little cup of water and from that point then we're going to make some magic. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy again, and what I'm going to do is show you how to do the snowman. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to get our white paint, get you a brush, and just have fun. I'm going to put a circle on the canvas, ever how big you want your snowman to be. You can never mess up with paint. So here I have my snowman's head painted in a complete circle. Now I'm going to do my snowman body. Now what I'm doing here is more of a portrait of a snowman. So I'm not going to do his entire body because that's not what I captured when I was looking at this guy. Here's the second portion of the snowman's body. And then if you need to, you can expand his body on down. As you can see, this black background makes a really good base for this type of painting. From here I'm gonna clean my brush because I'm only using two brushes on this painting. And I'm gonna add his nose. Now you might need to add this color two times. Let it dry. Clean my brush again. And now I'm going to add a scarf. I'm going to make a scarf red because that really highlights really well around the black. Now if you want to paint on a regular canvas you can, but I chose this foam board because it's in the typical has the black background if you want to use that but you can paint your own canvas to be black or blue or whatever color that you choose it's your design so make it your own it's very simple and you might have to come back and put a couple of coats on that one Now from here, I'm going to add his buttons. One button, 
two button. And then I'm going to add a third button here. And I'm going to add his eyes. And you can see him coming to life. As you can see, this is very simple, very easy, and it looks very cute after you put it in a frame. I always like to give my snowman a little smile, and I'll just dab. That's what I'm doing now, is just dabbing a smile right on his face. Very cute. Now, I know that it's going to be snowing in this picture, so when it's snowing out, his scarf is going to have a little snow on the top of it. So will his nose. And let your imagination go with this kind of painting. You can um, add a hat if you'd like. It's very easy. You can air, add earmuffs if you want. And those are very simple too. I think on this guy, I'm going to add some blue earmuffs. And you just make one little simple oblong on each side of his head. Now I want to bring a little more of that blue into this painting. So what I'm going to do is add a blue stripe into his scarf. And as you can see, that blue also picks up the white as you run through it. Because I didn't completely let that red dry. And then I'm going to make little small lines all the way through it. Now from here, my painting is almost done. I want to add some filling to this painting, so I'm going to splatter it with some white paint. What you want to do is get your brush really wet, dabble it in your white paint, and you just kind of tap, tap your brush. And when you tap on the end, it sprinkles that painting with snow. This gives you the appearance of snow all over your painting. So now you have your snowman playing out in the snow. Now if you'd like, Since I'm only using a few colors here, I'm going to add some arms onto him. I'm going to mix a little red with a little orange and a little black. And that's going to give me just a little bit of a brownish color. And I'm going to make two arms. Every snowman has to have an arm. There's one. And here's his second arm. And from here, there's a little snow sailing on top of that. It helps highlight what you've just done. And then your snowman is finished. Okay, so now our painting is dry and I've went ahead and put him in a frame. And the frame makes the biggest difference in the world in what you do with a painting. So here is our finished product. That's our little snowman in our pretty frame. Turned out great.